viewers welcome to my youtube channel the secret of life okay today we are discussing about the dna replication initiation in prokaryotes dna replication initiation in prokaryotes dna replication takes place in three steps what are the three steps yes the initiation elongation and termination these are the three steps in dna replication in this video tutorial we are discussing about the initiation process okay in prokaryotes you can see in this picture that dna replication starts from the specific site what is the specific site called yes the orec site the orec site consisting of 3 30mer sequences and 4 9mer sequence sequences are present the 13mer sequences consisting of 13 base pairs and the 9 mer sequences consisting of the 9 base pairs that is the peculiarity of the 13 mer sequences and 9 mer sequences now you can say that the 13 mer sequences specifically called the DUE region and the 9 mer sequences specifically called the DAR region what is DUE yes the DNA unwinding elements and the DAR means the DA, DNA A assembling region. Now we can focus on the DAR site, DNA A assembling region, where the R1, R5, R2, R4 boxes are present. In between R1 and R5, the IHF protein binds, and R2 and R4, the FIS protein is binds. What is IHF? What is IHF? IHF is the integration host factor binding site. In between R1 and R5, the IHF protein is binds and uh, the R2 and R4, the FIS protein is binds. When IHF protein binds to the IHF site, it enhances the replication but the FIS protein decreases the replication process. That means the FIS protein negatively regulates the DNA replication process. But when both FIS protein and IHF protein together enhances the DNA replication process, when they combine together, it enhances the replication process. Now you can look at the next picture. When DNA A protein binds on the 9 mer sequences, DNA coils around this protein. That means DNA A protein binds. The DNA coils around this protein and this induces a topological stress. This induces a topological Now, this induces the denaturation of the 13 mer sequences. When DNA A coils, DNA A binds on this protein and DNA coils around this protein and induces a topological stress, it induces the denaturation of 13 mer sequences. Okay. After that, what happens? The SSB protein and helicase protein are comes. Helicase protein means the DNA B. You can see in this picture that SSB is the single stranded binding protein. And what is DNA B? Yes, the DNA B is the helicase in the prokaryotes. DNA B is the helicase. But what is the role of DNA B? The, yes, the DNA B is the helicase in prokaryotes and it unwinds the DNA by breaking hydrogen bonds. And what is the role of SSB? Yeah, SSB is the single stranded binding protein. SSB prevents the re-annealing of the DNA strand. SSB prevents the re-annealing process. And then what is the DNA C here? DNA C is the helicase loader. DNA B is loaded by the DNA C. That means DNA C is the helicase loader. DNA C binds on the DNA B for the breaking of bonds. After after the helicase binds on the DNA, DNA C release. That means DNA C loads the DNA B, and after that DNA C is released. Then primase comes. 
then the primase and polymerase tree comes and proceed the replication process that means the elongation process mm. what is the primase here yes the dna g is the primase and polymerase tree comes and the start the elongation process okay now you can see the very clear picture you can see that helicase uh, is the dna b and then uh, loads the dna c that that is the helicase loader and ssb is seen here uh, you can see the ssb which prevents the re annealing process and also the uh, dna polymerase 3 that is the um, pictureizers in orange color you can see and which uh, promotes the elongation process in the prokaryotes okay now you can see that there is dna g protein that means the primase protein what's the role of primase it is in the size short strands of rna which provides three prime oh ends for the three prime hydroxyl group for the dna polymerase activity primates are complementary to single stranded dna used temporarily for the dna elongation process that means primase produces small strands of rna which complementary to the single stranded dna used temporarily for the uh, for the dna elongation and now you can see that dna helicase moves and breaks the hydrogen bonds and creates the replication bubble you can see in this picture it creates the uh, replication bubble then uh, comes the polymerase 3 and this is the main enzyme for the replication now you can see the picture of dna polymerase 3 dna polymerase 3 consisting of beta clamp for the loading of the polymerase and alpha subunit tau subunit epsilon subunit theta subunit etc are seen in this dna polymerase 3 there are many subunits several subunits are seen in the dna polymerase 3 and the ga uh, gamma complex acts as the clamp loader here gamma complex acts as the clamp loader and beta clamp also seen in this picture dna polymerase 3 has the 5 prime to 3 prime polymerase activity and 3 prime to 5 prime exonucleus activity is present that's all about the dna polymerase and also the dna replication initiation process in prokaryotes okay